Now that we have our first version of the full client that just displays all the events in the, the combo box, we have to enhance it a little bit. We want the, the user to see a list of all the competitors for the, uh, the corresponding event. Whenever the user changes an event, the list of competitors should automatically refresh. So, let's first go into the XAML file and add something where we could put our competitors in. So, let's add, for instance, a grid. No, sorry, a, a data grid in the grid row, the second grid row, and also set a margin of 5, and for the moment let's say auto-generate columns, true, that's fine. Now here we have our combo box, here we have our data grid, and we have to fill this data grid with data. The question is, how do we fill the data grid with the corresponding competitors for the selected event? As you can guess, we will not implement this logic inside our code behind file. Instead, we will put it again in the view model. When is the correct moment to refresh the list of competitors? The answer is simple. The correct moment is whenever the event, the currently selected event, changes. So our view model must uh, get an idea of what the currently selected event is. That's simple. We just add a property of type event and call this one currently selected. No, current event. It's gettable, it's settable, it's a public, that's fine. And we have to bind again the content of the combo box, selected item, of the combo box to the current event and make sure that the mode is two-way so that not only the value is taken out of the view model but also written back into the view model. Current event and here we have the current event. The problem if we implement, implement it like this is that we do not get informed when the user interface um, tells us that the current event has changed. So whenever the user changes the selection inside the combo box, we cannot react here. So we need a private event, current event, and unfortunately we cannot use the automatically implemented property syntax here. We have to write it for our own. But that's not a problem. Oops. Like this. Return this dot current event and here we have a typical this dot current event equals to value and now comes the important part this dot on property changed current event this one is very important last but not least here whenever the current event changes we have to refresh we have to offer a newly refreshed list of competitors again we implement this logic not in a view, not in a code behind file of the main window. We do, we do not react on any of the events that the combo box will fire. Instead, we react on the change inside the current event property. That's a very important thing to understand when using the MVVM architecture. So in this case, we do a this.refresh competitors. We don't have this method in the moment, so generate the stub. And here we have to refresh our property, the list of competitors. So we have private event, no, I enumerable of competitor. And we have a public I enumerable of competitor. Have a getter. And a set.
find and in the in the refresh competitors implementation we have to do something that is very similar to what we do in the refresh events method and therefore I will copy this one paste it here and now we will not do a get events completed but we will do a get competitors completed and here we say get competitors async this one gets the filter oh I forgot that one refresh comp no I didn't forget it sorry we have the currently selected com um, event and we have it here and we take the event ID ID from here this dot events is wrong we need this dot competitors equal to e dot result as you can see the refresh competitors method does nothing more than calling the get competitor async passing the event ID of the currently selected event remember this one is the event that is currently selected inside the combo box and when the WCF call returns it just fills the competitors property remember the competitors property does an on property changed so all that we have to do now is go into the view and say items source equals to binding path equals to competitors. That's it. The combo box has the selected item bound to the current event. Whenever the current event changes, the list of competitors is automatically be refreshed and by using the on property changed method, the user interface is notified that it has to refresh the data grid too. Let's try this one. Fire up the debugger. It compiles nicely. takes a second here we have our form now open up the combo box here we have our races we change the comp box to Schlattning and nothing happens Okay, I, I messed up the WCF service. Competitors dot include probably isn't called events, but let's see. Oh, sorry, event. Of course we have one event per competitor. I'm very sorry for that, but as you can see this one is live. Now let's start it again in the debugger. Build succeeded. Here we have our main window. Let's open up the combo box. Select Schlattming. Again, I did something wrong. take a look oh you see what happened this is typical for such a scenario the maximum message size quota has been exceeded again sorry for that but that's practice I go into the app.config for the full client and I have to add let's say to series to the max received message size now third try and I hope it will work yeah here we have it as you can see our MVVM architecture works very nicely here we have all the columns here we have all the participants and if I 
Select another race in the combo box. The data grid refreshes perfectly automatically without any logic inside the view layer. That's the important thing.